Hi and welcome to my wee channel, The Kilted Cyclist. Today's town of choice is Haddington, East Lothian, which must go down as one of the most unluckiest towns in Scotland. Why unlucky? Well, until 973 AD, it was part of Northumbria, which is in England, so it wasn't even Scottish. It was given away to King Kenneth the II of Scotland by King Edgar the Peaceful. Or is that the generous? Things started to look up for Haddington, and as a royal borough, it became a prosperous market town. So much so that during the Middle Ages, it was the fourth biggest town in Scotland after Edinburgh, Aberdeen and Roxburgh. So everything was looking up. Most of the buildings you see today are from the 18th and 19th century. And if you took the cars away, it would be, well, carless. No, I'm only kidding. It would look almost as it was 200 years ago. The big church in the video is St Mary's, and building started in 1375, but it was partly destroyed by Henry VIII's forces in 1548 as part of his rough wooing. The town has been unlucky with fire throughout the years. In fact, on no fewer than four occasions it was deliberately set in fire, or accidentally sometimes, in 1216 by the nasty King John, and again in 1244, then in 1299 by retreating Scots forces this time, and lastly in 1598 by a careless maidservant who was drying clothes at the fire. Of course that's not including the Nazi bombers. Not them again, yes. They bombed Haddington on the 3rd of March 1941. They were actually aiming for a convoy on the road and hut Haddington by mistake. Three people were killed and a local man woke up to find a German bomb unexploded, obviously, lying on his doorstep. He and his family had to climb over the top of the bomb to evacuate the house. Thankfully, he made it out safely. So we've covered fire, bombs, what's next on the list? Flooding, right. In 1775, the nearby River Tyne rose by 17 feet in one hour to totally flood the town. But where Haddington is most unlucky is the railways, the Industrial Revolution, the A1 road network and more or less prosperity in the last century have really bypassed the town. It seems to have just stopped in the 1800s and been kept in a bubble. Compared to other towns in Scotland that rode the coattails of the Industrial Revolution and grew, Haddington now looks great and is a nice place to visit, with the buildings painted like Tobermory, an idea that was devised in the 1950s. It's a self-contained town that doesn't need the outside world, so hey, I'm talking too much, so let's just get on with it.
Well, that was Harrington, a lovely wee Merkitton. I was quite lucky while I was filming here, as the weather was not supposed to be great, but I just managed to get around and put the camera in the car and it started raining. Have you subscribed yet? If not, could you consider helping me by doing just that? It doesn't cost anything. Now, if you are nearby, I'll have a couple of hours to walk about Haddington and along the river. It's, if you're lucky enough to get the, the weather, it's, a, it's well worth it. As I look at the big clock on the wall, I see that once again, time has beaten us. So, until next time, bye for now.